Um, we can now actually shift forward to um, looking into the questions that came in by our listeners. And I have here one question uh, by, uh, by Mrs. Furster. Um, the question is, how do you train, um, to going to Professor Abelage, the question, how do you train leadership to cope in challenging environments? You mentioned connecting to yourself, to heart, to nature as important. Do you use experimental-based learning and or art-based learning methods? So what methods actually do you propose or do you use at Heliopolis University here um, for training leadership in challenging environments? Please, Professor Abrech. Yeah, first, connecting to nature. Learning out of the wisdom which in the nature. Uh, that is how, how young people have, young and even uh, elder, how to understand uh, leadership. So very much connected to the nature. And to the social, uh, social problem, how if we show them the, or, or let them see the problem of the society. How do they want to contribute in group to solve a problem? So uh, leadership is uh, almost an action. It is not something what he learned by, by only uh, theoretical, but uh, by actions. He is in the field, in the society, and also learning the, the wisdom and the nature by many, many examples, it is a long course. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Professor Aberle.